myself faizanwar and this is my channel hci human computer interaction well uh, there are basically five cpu scheduling algorithms which are first come first serve shortest job first which is preemptive and non preemptive as well priority scheduling algorithm and round robin scheduling algorithm in this lecture we are going to discuss first come first serve scheduling algorithm which is basically the easiest and the basic one cpu scheduling algorithm so first come first serve scheduling algorithm the process who comes first is allocated to the cpu first in first come first serve scheduling algorithm the process who comes first is operated first first in first out the first come first serve scheduling algorithm works on the criteria first in first out the simplest scheduling algorithm and very easy to understand and implement so this is an example of first come first serve scheduling algorithm and the criteria for first come first serve scheduling algorithm is the arrival time which means the process which comes first will be operated first and the process which comes later will be operated later and the mode for first come first serve scheduling algorithm is non preemptive which means once you choose a job and once you give it to the cpu then the cpu can be taken away from the process until it finishes its execution so this is the mode for first come first serve scheduling algorithm we may have a lot of processes in the uh, this example we have four processes and uh, we have the arrival time here we have the bus time here and we have to draw the gantt chart for each and every process in the cpu scheduling algorithm so i'm going to start the gantt chart from uh, uh, zero because the gantt chart always starts from zero so at time zero p1 has arrived which has the bus time of 4 so i will put the p1 here which has the bus time of 4 so bus time is here and uh, the the gantt chart always starts from 0 so i will put 0 here so the total bus time for p1 is 4 now i am going to pick up the next process which is p2 that has arrived at time 1 so the bus time for p2 is 3 i will put uh, the process p2 here which has the bus time of 4 the total bus time for p1 and p2 is 7 which is the bus time for p2 is 3 and bus time for p1 is 4 so 4 plus 3 is 7 so the 7 is here now i'm going to pick up the next process which is p3 uh, that has arrived at time 2 so the bus time for p3 is 4 so i will put a p3 here which has the bus time of 4 now 7 plus 4 is 11 i will put 11 here the bus time for p1 and p2 is 7 and the bus time for p3 is 4 so p uh, so 7 plus 4 is 11 um, and uh, now i'm going to pick up the next process which is p4 the bus time for p4 is 5 which has arrived at uh, time 3 so the bus time for uh, uh, p4 is 5 the total bus time has become 16 so i am putting 16 here now the total bus time for p1 p2 p3 and p4 is 16 now i have to find the waiting time for each and every process for p1 p2 p3 and p4 separately so the waiting time for p1 is uh, finishing time minus arrival time minus bus time so the finishing time for p1 is finishing time for p1 is 4 i am putting 4 here minus the arrival time for p1 is 0 i am putting 0 here and the bus time for p1 is 4 i am putting 4 here 
So the total waiting time for P1 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now the waiting time for P2 is the finishing time for P2 is 7. The total finishing time for P2 is 7. I am putting 7 here and the arrival time for P2 is 1. I am putting 1 here and the bus time for P2 is 3. So the 3 is here. 7 minus 1 minus 3 has become that is 4. Now for P3 the finishing time for P3 is Finishing time for P3 is 11. So the 11 is here minus the arrival time for P3 is 2 minus the bus time for P3 is 4 minus 4. So, the, so 11 minus 2 minus 4 is 5. Now for P4. The finishing time for P4 is 16. 16 is here minus the arrival time for P4 is 3. 3 is here and the bus time for P4 is 5. 5 is here. So 16 minus 3 minus 5 is 8. Now we have to calculate the average waiting time for this process, for this whole process. And uh, for this purpose, I will sum up all the waiting times 0 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8. I will sum up all these processes, all these waiting times with 4 because we have total 4 processes. So I will divide uh, the sum of these waiting times with 4 because we have total 4 processes. So the sum is 17 which is divided by 4. 17 uh, divided by 4 is 4 point 2 something. So this is the average waiting time for this whole process. These are the waiting times for each and every process separately. The waiting time for P1 is 0. The waiting time for P2 is 4. The waiting time for P3 is 5. The waiting time for P4 is 8. The waiting time is equal to finishing time minus arrival time minus bus time. The finishing time of each process is for P1 is 4, for P2 is 7, for P3 is 11, for P4 is 16. This is the finishing time for each and every process. Good luck.